to enclose her porch. That's all Marilyn J. wanted. Marilyn says she had been guaranteed the job would be finished in five days. That was weeks ago. So I guess it just really bothers me that this wall, a simple one wall with seven windows and a door, had to be put in for the third time. This is the third wall that you're looking at here. The company hired to do the job, Bama Construction and Remodeling. Marilyn says workers from the company have stopped showing up. She's filing a lawsuit for breach of contract. The owner of Bama Construction and Remodeling, James Nelson, didn't show up for a scheduled interview. But his building superintendent, Jim Speck, tried to prevent us from taking pictures of the business. Jim, you're going to have to leave it there. Not allowed. Yeah, this is a public road. This is private property this right here. This is Dozier. According to my understanding, we can show you it on a map, and it's called Dozier. If it's Dozier and public, thus we can stay here. Frank King is a painter for Bama Construction and showed up today for money he's owed. He says the company has been bouncing checks and has documents to prove it. I think it's bull. You know, man, work all week, he's entitled to get paid, you know. He got his work, I need to get mine. King says workers have walked off the job until they get paid, and that's why contracts with Bama Construction and Remodeling are going unfinished. James Mitchell owns a sheetrock finishing company, which he says has done $2,500 worth of work for Bama. Mitchell is worried he'll have to... Fold, because I'm not able to pay my means now. How many you got? Uh, seven. 